Hi, Gary Stearman. Welcome to another daily update from Prophecy Watchers. We have in studio a guest today, the author of this book. It's called Prophecies for the Era of Muslim Terror by Rabbi Menachem Cohen. Uh, he's here from Israel, and uh, we're interviewing him about uh, this book. By the way, the book really deals with modern miracles that surround the state of Israel, and you get a sense of, of how God is working uh, in modern Israel today. And it's uh, good to have you here, Rabbi Cohen. It's very, good to be very good here. to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, in the few minutes that we have uh, today, what would you like our audience to know about you and about Israel? And uh, what's happening there? I think what I would like to present is, uh, I guess, a message to uh, people living in America. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of, I, I know that your audience cares, uh, cares about Israel. And uh, I, I wanted to, uh, to, to talk for a few minutes about some information that's a, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but but it's it's just so important, um, and and I think that I'd like to quote from from Isaiah, uh, where where God says that those people who bring distress, the vaktak, that they're going to be like dust. What do you mean? Those people who cause Israel distress are, are going to be like dust. They get blown like dust. And, and God says, that they're, they're going to be affected by natural disasters, earthquakes, sufa, storms, um, fire, ash, lave ash. So what God is saying that not, not only the enemy of, of Israel who are the Muslim Arab countries living around Israel, but, but even other countries in the world who cause distress and grief and agony for the Jews of, of Israel, they're, they're going to be affected by the, the nature, by the disasters of nature. In other words, be blown away like dust. Yeah. yeah. yeah and which and, is or, or like fire, be affected by fire. Forest fires, uh, uh, by cyclones, tornadoes. Uh -huh. Well, you guys know about tornadoes. We know about tornadoes yeah. here in Oklahoma. But this is the thing. Uh, a lot of people think of this as metaphor. They think of it as uh, a fancy Bible language, but they don't think of it as a living reality. But you present it as a living reality. Yeah, but that's what's exciting about the Bible, that if you, if you go slowly when you study it, it becomes alive. So let me, let me give you an example. Um, we, we have to go back to August uh, 2001. America is pressuring Israel not to defend itself against the onslaught of the Palestinian Authority, Hamas, whoever it is that's firing every day. There, there are like 20 attacks, shooting, bombings. It's going on for months. Um, and America denounces Israel for every time they defend themselves, for provoking, making it worse, you're too aggressive. And the president at that time is meeting with the, the, with the crown prince of uh, Saudi Arabia. For what purpose? To come up with a plan of how to expel the Jews from Israel. Mm. Grief. And while this is going on, this is on September 10th, 2001, while this is going on, the Secretary of State is preparing to present this plan before the United Nations at the end of September. So that's September 10th. The next day was 9-11. So Secretary of State never presented it to the United Nations. Mm. But And you, you make know, a connection in your mind. Yeah, that, 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 that's, you know, I, I think the connection becomes even more lucid, more profound, more obvious when, when you go to the, the administration here pressuring Israel to expel the Jews from their land, uh, this time uh, the Gaza section. So as that's going on, the last day that the Jews are being expelled from Gaza and being pulled out is, October, uh, is um, August 29th, 
the year 2005. That was the exact moment that Katrina hit. What happens is, you can see it on the screen, that 10,000 Israelis are expelled from Gaza mm -hmm. in a population of 6 million. And how many people are made homeless from Katrina? The exact proportion, 500,000 in a population of 300 million Americans. 10,000 Israelis, 500,000 Americans, 50 times greater. And in a population of 6 million Israelis, 50 times greater, 300 Americans. You know, other people, uh, and the author Bill Koenig, uh, who's been a guest here uh, very often, uh, ha has written a book on uh, the connection between America's treatment of Israel and uh, natural disasters that have befallen America. Yeah. And as strange as it sounds, uh, there, this, there is some sense here. Uh, and the sense is that God is actually working to us, it would seem to be behind the scenes. Yeah. But from his perspective, he's working in his own way. Yeah, so I, 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 read, uh, I read your newspaper the other day, and th there seems to be a repeat of something that occurred four years earlier. What happened in, in uh, October 2012? The Democrat Party platform, first time in history, deleted a statement in support of Israel. Hmm. It's always been part of that plat party platform, but now they were making a clear statement that they no longer supported Israel. They want to dismantle Israel. Um, and they inserted a statement in the platform that demanding that Israel not act against Iran's nuclear facilities. Okay. So, you know, I ask, are these efforts designed to promote life in Israel or homelessness. So just as that's going on, what happened in America on October 27th, that's when Sandy hits Washington DC and the Eastern seaboard and 200,000 American families, families are made homeless. Kashir hmm. Asita, just like the Bible says, what, what you're planning is gonna get done to you. So, you know, this, this fellow that you mentioned, Koenig? Koenig, Koenig. Koenig yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I'm not surprised that he wrote such a book. I mean, because that's what the Bible says. And, and I wish you could meet, meet him and talk with him sometime, because he, he does share your view very, very specifically. Uh, as, as hard as this may be to take, uh, for some of you who are hearing this concept for the first time, uh, the thought is that God is at work today on behalf of Israel, as he said he would be, which means we're living in the last days. You, you, you believe that we're living in the last days. What, what does that mean to you, that phrase, last so, days? So the phrase, the phrase last days is, um, is a translation from the Hebrew, which is achrit hayamim, which is what the Bible says will be the period right before Mashiach, right before Messiah comes. So um, what, what that means basically for us is that the, the prophecies that, and that's what makes it so exciting, the prophecies that we've had all these years are going to come true and are coming true. So it's not only miracles that we're talking about, but it's the fact is it's, it's, in, it's the time that we're in. God's telling us where we are in history. And it's exciting because you see these things happening, and it's very clear, you know, when Katrina hits, when Sandy hits, uh, when, you know, these things are occurring. So we, who are students of the Bible, understand these are exciting times. Menachem Cohen not only talks about uh, the events in, in which Israel's enemies uh, uh, are uh, the focus of God's retribution, he also talks about the modern miracles of Israel, the, the things that uh, uh, beginning back in the 19th century and moving forward have, have brought Israel miraculously to the place where, where it is today. Prophecies for the Era of Muslim Terror. We have this book for $24.95 in our 
online bookstore, prophecywatchers.com. And we also have uh, a uh, six DVD set there, and, and we have a set that you'll find in the online bookstore called the Prophecies of Israel Package for $69.95. Six DVDs, uh, hours of documentaries concerning the miracles of modern Israel. Uh, we do live in miraculous times. With every uh, order, of course, you get a, a free uh, issue of uh, the Prophecy Watcher. And uh, you can read the articles that, uh, that come out, and, and many of them dealing with this very subject. Menachem Cohen, uh, let's close in the, in the next minute or so with uh, maybe a word of encouragement. Uh, people praying for Israel, what should they pray for? Ah, so, so I think what we, what we need to focus in on is, number one, yet yeah, there's a time to prayer, and, and we need to pray for not only for Israel, but for the good of all mankind throughout the world. Um, and we as, um, as Americans, uh, we should also be concerned about making sure that the people we vote for, senators, congressmen, uh, state people, a president, um, that they should be supportive of Israel because ultimately those who are supportive of Israel will benefit you as Americans. Uh, those who are not supportive of Israel, of course, I, we, we in Israel, we don't say the, 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 the corollary. We just, the positive is that it's, it's like the Bible says, God says those who, who are care for Israel will be successful. That's in Psalms. And uh, those who bless Israel will be blessed and those who don't. So we, uh, we pray that uh, Americans will be blessed and Israelis and all people should be living a peaceful life. Indeed. Rabbi Menachem Cohen, thanks for coming by Prophecy Watchers today and uh, may the Lord bless you and yours. It's a pleasure. I'm Gary Stearman. We're watching. You keep watching too. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.